good luck. got an interesting position on the second move of the game um i did not expect this the fuck is this i don't even know I'm going to close the diagonal anyway and just play my thing, aim at the head of the generals, and when I'm ready, open the diagonal, but not now. <laughs> okay. Uh, we got some silver rising action on the move. Um, let's just continue castling. And continue, continue castling. Okay. Yes, this does follow the maximum of push the odd file pawns. It certainly does that. Hmm. I have excuses as to why I have not studied this yet. It's, uh, for those who have viewed my last game, where I vowed that I needed to, to study this further. My excuse is I haven't had time yet. Um, we'll have time soon enough, but not yet. Okay. So my evaluation is that if I can keep his silver out of this square, that, well, he's done the same strange thing a different one of my opponents did, where he's stuck his two silvers together and this is not so effective because a silver is a short range piece like yeah this is super solid but what is it gonna do other than just be solid shogi pieces tend to be fluid rather than solid so um, I am so confused. This is an original position. My big brilliant idea of smashing through on the fourth file is a little bit delayed by this solid clump of pieces. Um, If I were to put my bishop on the wrong diagonal to snap this pawn, this pawn would just move. And my bishop would be staring at nothing. 
Um, yeah, I think completing the castle is actually fairly reasonable here. And then I can build up my castle. With like gold to six or pawn to six four here. See, I could play pawn 5 4, pawn 6 4, bring some generals up, maybe later get the rest of these pawns moving. It's going to be a very slow, gradual advance, unless I'm horribly misreading something. Okay, so I suppose his idea. Is a desire to sack for the silver and then break on this file. Um, I'm not too thrilled about that. Plan B is that he breaks on my edge file, which is probably the real idea here. So, Well, we could have some fun, couldn't we? We could have some interesting fun here. If he takes my silver. Um, yeah, my, I could actually attack some things while he's attacking me. We're going to put my bishop on the wrong diagonal. And if I get another bishop, I can get two bishops attacking this pawn. So I don't think he's going to execute on his threat. But also my bishop covers this square. So this is pretty unusual. We'll see if I have uh, a bit off war that I can chew here. Sorry about that. Somehow I disconnected. I'm not sure why my interface disconnected, but we're back. So I'll have to upload this later. Right, I did anticipate this, and I was wondering, perhaps 
I just ignore the attack on my rook, but that might be a bit extreme. Um, So yeah, we're going to attack. We're going to have some fun. I am so confused. Um, have I overlooked something absolutely critical here? Even if I have, it's too late now, so we're going to play it. But, jeez. Um... I don't understand. So here we are in the midst of our learning game, teaching game thing. Um, and I think we've both gone a bit out of what we're familiar with. That's probably fair to say. So yes, my opponent did manage to break the second file open. Um, I have not successfully broken the second file, or the eighth file just yet, but give me a moment. <laughs> um, yeah, this... Something happened this game. Okay. I just don't know what to say. Well, this is check. Um, and I debated a bishop drop here, and then they have a either a pawn drop or a knight drop. I'm not such a fan of that. But this is also check. Uh, good game. Yeah. Uh, let's do the post-game analysis. Okay, well, uh, apologies to the, our loving audience for technical difficulties here. Yeah, yeah. That was something. Um, okay. That very rapidly got out of hand. All right, so this gold push, yes, probably a more reasonable defensive try. Um, what am I supposed to do here? Why did I not see that? Like, that actually does a good job holding the second and third files. I considered some attacking ideas, but they don't work here. Huh. Hmm. Some 
somehow I missed uh, just how effective that is. What the heck? Like, I thought my attack was very strong here. It's really not. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Wow, but yeah, here, like, if we do this, you just defend it. Uh, yeah, in the game, that worked. Um, but here it doesn't, so... Uh, well... That was a thing, I guess. Um, <laughs> uh, okay, so I messed up somewhere, but got extremely lucky. Yeah, I don't really know what more to say. Because, like, my attack is dead if he plays that. So, I guess this is to suggest just how bad my idea. Oh! Right. Yeah, my bishop attack only works uh, if I can spell. If you don't move that gold. The bishop sack was fine. Because, like, my bishop drop was just that terrible. I thought I saw it. Something that worked, but... No, like... Yeah. I did expect a slower attack, um, since your silvers are running into each other, like here. Um, so that indicates like that this is not the most coordinated attack ever. But, yeah, I think we both missed quite a few things. Um, maybe I shouldn't open the uh, di diagonal yet. Uh, for some reason, I've been having terrific successes when I do open this diagonal, but... Okay. He thinks this is fine, but, like, I'm not so happy with this position. I don't understand it. I get that when I play uh, Ranging Rook openings, or at least Fourth Fall Rook, I don't quite get it. It's not popular, but it's not that bad a move, or not at all a bad move. I see, so maybe if I study the more popular stuff, I could do that and understand it eventually, but... Um, yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, pawn 4-6 is kind of out of the question. So... Without that... I don't know. It's pretty hard. I mean, I do like the fact that these positions are challenging and force you to think, and force both players to think, and sometimes that just doesn't happen. Yeah. Yeah. I was thinking... Uh, about this. I suppose that 
Uh, sword attack. Oh, and he'd be playing. I see. Center file pawn and the silver up and putting pressure on this fourth file pawn. So I need to prepare for that. So that's why I push the center file pawn first if he's moved his knight. Uh, yeah. Well, hmm. So, yes. Well, I mean, hang on, this is not right. <laughs> uh, hmm. Well, I mean, I kind of like this, though. Oh, wait, so if you play, never mind. Um, trying to figure this out. Oops. Yeah, I can't do that first. Um, so I'd have to do this first, but then this allows this pawn push. Yeah, I've lost numerous games that way. I just forgot. Um, <laughs> you'd think eventually I would learn, but it's hard. So, yeah, what was I going to say here? Right, so I was thinking this here. to counter the silver move. The, like, the silver no longer covers 4-6. So... Hmm. He doesn't know? Okay. I mean, this whole position's uncomfortable, so I'll take it, but... Oh. Well, that's kind of curious. Um, pawn drop threat, so, well, I don't have to do that immediately, but yeah, okay, I could see this being kind of awkward. Let's see, so here, there's the pawn drop threat. I wonder if I can make a threat of my own. Um, hmm. Making threats is hard. There's got to be a way. Like, the whole idea is I'm supposed to break through and promote. Um, so we're going to find a way to make it happen. And hopefully not Nifu along the way. Um... Yeah. Oh, well, okay. I guess because I put my silver on 3-3, three, three, it's kind of hard for me to continue an attack there. Yeah, I suppose I've made things difficult for myself. Yeah, I'll have, uh, have to study it more. Turn it into a slow game here. Oh, wait. Maybe silver takes is bad. I don't know. Like, this gets complicated. Okay, it looks Okay, fine. I'll take his word for it. Oh, uh, hmm. I suppose I cannot attack here. Yeah. Oh, that's it. Okay, yeah, he gets the pawn back in hand just that easily. With this pawn threatened by right this drop. 
Okay. I do have to deal with that. That's really inconvenient. Right, I've seen this. I've seen this. This is what had me confused. Hmm. In general, perhaps, uh, yeah, yeah, you're right, uh, that's cool. There's a lot to know here. But yeah, this is making me think that after I've locked the fourth file, I should prepare to switch to the third file and try to find an attack there. <laughs> uh, I think I should go look at version. <laughs> so true. <laughs> I'll need to study. Uh, how to? Ah, I can't type at all. How to transition to third file rook in some positions? But that's probably too much to study here. <laughs> What a mess. So yeah. In a position like this. Oh, once I brought up the silver both spaces. You need to learn how to do it. Okay. Okay. Oh, this is fine? I always, I've seen this before and I'm always afraid, but I need to learn how to do this. That's kind of a problem, isn't it? Oh, this is a popular line. Okay. Cool. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, I should look up some games in that line and see how that all goes. But with the silver still back there... Yeah, there it's hard. Pretty safe to stop the attack by just the pawn move. Ah! Okay, so yeah, with this silver not already up in my face, this pawn move keeps things simple and slow and allows me to build up uh, some sort of very gradual advance. Also cool. Well, thanks for the analysis. Uh, better luck next time. <laughs> yeah. Wow, that was a rough, rough break. I've been having insane luck with this opening. <laughs> Likewise, thanks, yeah. Yeah, that was special. So, again, apologies for technical difficulties. Hopefully I'll get this uploaded in one piece. We'll see how it goes. But yeah, um, the way this game proceeded, my opponent sacrificed their bishop, and we both had some extremely exciting moves. They managed to break open the eighth file and just had completely missed this idea and at this stage it's much too late um, there's no recovery here I think like yeah I've got two bishops and a rook bearing down against essentially no defense I think you'd have to try this and even here it's still difficult at best um, maybe there is a defense, but gosh, I don't think I could find it. 
that. So, like, yeah, if I promote, I'm attacking the knight, I'm threatening this sort of thing. Maybe there is a defense. Like, so they have to defend the knight, I guess. And, like, if I bishop drop, they could pawn drop. Maybe this is not so simple. I have no idea. Is What got me thinking about this is that they say a king move is worth several tempi or something. I don't remember exactly how the proverb goes, but yeah, getting the king starting to run a little early can save a lot of material. Um, so this is tempting because it threatens to take the gold and end up in the same position as in the game, but um, I don't even know. So there's this possibility, and then if I check, they could pawn drop. Um, so maybe that's not it. Um, so yeah, this is what had me thinking about this rook takes move. I think we both just got extremely excited this game. Uh, so I had offered to my opponent that maybe we could have Shogi Harbor review this in the morning if we played it today. I don't think I'm going to subject Shogi Harbor or other people to having to review this game. Because uh, it was much too exciting. Uh, uh, wait, if the king runs, I guess this is the idea, is that I win a lance and protect my knight. Yeah, so... Okay, so I guess here I am better, but, jeez, what a Pyrrhic victory this would be. If indeed I'm winning at all, which we've not established yet, but um, we've established I have an attack. We just don't know if it's that good of an attack, despite it looking pretty awesome. I don't know that it's actually that good. Um... So what do they do with the pawn in hand? Heck if I know. Yeah. I guess save their knight? But if they pawn drop, then maybe I'm encouraged to take this. I don't know. There's too much to know, and never enough time to know it all. But yeah, in general, probably it would behoove me to study this a bit more. Um, on move three of the game, I was already stunned by this development, although it's probably okay. I decided to close the diagonal, because we're going to play whatever's familiar to us. Um, which is this crazy Mino thing. And yeah, maybe this was ill... well, this was good timing. But... Um, then I pansied out instead of playing this. So this might have been a good thing to play. Um, but then I can't really transition to right hand fourth foul rook because they have this all barricaded too. I need to uh, study more uh, games by good players. I think is uh, what I need to do. But yeah, thanks for the game. Good game. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.